Hi, Jeff Katroop from Stratocast, a division of Frost & Sullivan. We're here at IBM Pulse 2011, and I uh, am speaking here with Dexter Henderson of IBM. We've talked about some of these problems, and now we're talking about some of the positive directions and where we need to apply this. Why don't you talk to me uh, a little bit about systems director specifically, what some of the things were, because we, we've been studying it, and that's why we're here talking about it, but give me some, some thoughts about what systems director is able to do to address the kind of things we're talking about here. Here at IBM, we're pretty excited about System Director. Right. Uh, it used to be a tool just to manage your x86 space, but now we have enhanced it to manage a heterogeneous environment across all, all of IBM systems from your x86 up to your Z, uh, your Z platform. Mm -hmm. And we've been able to consolidate, which reduced a lot of complexity, consolidate a lot of the management tools that you see across the data center uh, into one centralized management console and this has actually helped to simplify the management infrastructure in your data center. So now you can do updates, you can do your energy manager, you can do discovery, inventory, all from one place in a heterogeneous environment, which will consolidate many of the tools, which is the number one step in reducing complexity in your data center. And it also gives you the integration that you need from end to end to be able to respond quickly to services that your clients are requesting. Right, getting back to really being a service provider and That's not just correct. sort of administering uh, the IT landscape. And, and we're pretty excited about uh, system director integration with Tivoli. Okay. They give us uh, an end-to-end -end integrated service management solution that I think is the best in the industry. And right. it actually helped take your new workload deployment time from weeks to minutes. A lot of people are looking to virtualize, consolidate and virtualize. Right. And if you virtualize just your servers and not virtualize your storage and your networking, it right. still is going to take you a significant amount of time to actually deploy new workloads. But if you are able to virtualize your, your basic infrastructure around services, around storage, and around networking, uh, we have actually done that with our product system director. And we've been able to uh, take workloads, I mean, deploy workloads that used to take weeks now we can do it in minutes. Well, you're right. It did take a lot more than a minute, but I think it was well worth it, and I appreciate your time. Uh, this is uh, Jeff Katroop, uh, Stratocast, Division of Frost and Sullivan. I've been talking with Dexter Henderson from IBM, and we're at IBM Pulse 2011. I uh, appreciate you taking a few moments with us uh, to talk. Uh, have a good rest of the week. Thank you very much. All right. Take care. Bye.